Hey guys, cold day in Michigan. Gonna do a gauge cluster bezel removal video for you in my 11 charger. Uh, this video will run through the 11 to 14 Dodge Charger, 15 to 18 Charger, very, very similar. Your cluster's just different design. Um, and the 11 to 14 Challenger, I'll explain how to do that. And the 15 to 18 Challenger are very similar, if not the same as this, pro as this procedure. Um, so this is obviously 2011. Uh, I did upgrade to the 2013 cluster uh, and had my mileage program to the cluster. Um, I recommend investing in some panel popper uh, plastic tool wear. I got mine. I got a set at Harbor Freight. Just like this. You get a thing about five or six of them. And they work, they're great for removing panels without damage. Um, things you're gonna need. You're gonna need this. You could use a butter knife. Uh, just have to be careful. Make sure the wife doesn't care. Uh, you're you know, probably gonna bend up one of her butter knives because these panels are in there pretty good. Um, and I believe it is a eight millimeter um, socket. I could be wrong, it could be seven. But what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your panel removal tool, stick it in the corner here, pry back and push in at the same time, you get a little bit of a gap. Make sure you're not in too deep or else you're gonna pry against this vent. Then you take and push back, come up to the top, push in, not that deep, but pry outward. Take and push in, pry out and work your way across the top of your dash. This is gonna be pretty difficult to do. If you have this trim like mine, my, my little trim here likes to try and come off and that's not what you're removing. I've had my cluster out already so this trim's a little plasticky and cheap. I'm gonna push it in here, pry it out. That popped out pretty easy. Push it in here, pry it out this. Push it in. Pry out. Push in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera down to get the rest of this out. So I got mine popped out. Now when you pop your bezel out, some of your vents may stay behind. It's fine, it's not gonna hurt nothing. See, if you have the mine, I have to I have to repair my bezel, but you can see it's two pieces. A little thin, fake carbon fiber, and then your hard plastic backing. Um, now what you're gonna wanna do is take your steering wheel and pull it all the way down and all the way out to you and lock it in place. Take your bezel, remove your bezel out, lean it back, pry it up. Now my radio comes out with my bezel, so if yours does too, be very careful of this. You can disconnect it. Uh, I have not disconnected mine. I didn't want to take the risk of having to take it to the dealer and have to program it. I don't know if you have to or not. Maybe somebody can chime in on that. But you have enough slack with the factory wiring to get your radio bezel out like this. Take it to behind your steering wheel, lift it up, over, swing it down, around, and into the front. And your wiring still has plenty of slack. And here's your gauge cluster. Now you're gonna have a screw right here. Follow it over. You'll have another one here. You'll have a screw right here holding a piece of trim on. I'll turn this heater off so you guys can hear me. You'll have a screw right here. If I can get my camera to focus. You have one right here. 
you unscrew that, you pop this trim off, pop the trim back, and all it's, all it's held in there with is just clips. So if you pull out, like so, it'll come off. Now since mine's an ex-cop car, I've got the hole right here for the shifter. Yeah, and you pull it off, and you have a screw down in here, and you have another screw once you remove this way back in here. After that, you remove the cluster. It's a single electrical connection. You pinch the electrical connection. Uh, you pull out from the cluster, you're done. After that, you stick your gauge cluster in a box, slap my address on it, send it to me, and you're done from there. Now this is an all factory gauge cluster in my car. I've yet to convert this cluster. Uh, when I was building my previous cluster, it, it, it looked amazing in this car. Um, and it's all Bluetooth controlled over, uh, it's 50 different colors, over a dozen different flash modes. Uh, you can pulse, you can make it go along with music. Um, flash, fade, and a few others. So it works amazing and you can control your gauges individually as far as the entire outer face. So you could have this red, that blue. Uh, you could have this one fading different colors. You can have this one a solid color. It's just limited by your imagination of how you want your gauges to be controlled. Uh, awesome for car shows. Awesome for just wowing your friends whatever you want it for. Um, okay, well that concludes this video.